ஆல் ரைட் சில்ட்ரன் வெல்கம் பேக் டு தி சாப்டர் என்வாயர்மெண்ட் இன் தி ப்ரீவியஸ் பார்ட் வி லுக்ட் இன் டு ஏர் பொல்யூஷன் இன் டீடெயில் ஸோ வில் கண்டினியூ ஃப்ரம் வேர் வி லெஃப்ட் ஆஃப் வி வில் மூவ் ஆன் டு வாட் இஸ் வாட்டர் பொல்யூஷன் நோ வென் யூ சி வாட்டர் பொல்யூஷன் waste from industries farms and sewage from homes as well as hospitals are thrown into nearby rivers lakes oceans and streams and this causes water pollution now when you see water pollution as such the effect of water pollution on animals that live inside water is huge because the factory waste contain poisonous substances which will affect and often lead to the death of fishes and other animals that live inside water if you can see this fish is actually crying for help it's telling hey man you got to be careful with my home because it is my home also it's not just something that belongs to you that you will do whatever you feel like with it and not just these if you end up drinking such contaminated water or you eat fish which have died because of poisoning inside water can even make us ill or even make us sick so we are not just affecting our environment we are indirectly affecting ourselves now if you see there are several diseases that are caused because of water pollution like for example drinking water polluted by sewage contains germs and these germs can cause diseases like dysentery jaundice and typhoid these are major diseases that can even get very complicated and lead to death so water poisoning is something which is very dangerous then we have soil and land pollution soil and land pollution is equally as bad as water and air pollution now farmers use chemicals to kill weeds as well as insects and they use fertilizers to grow more crops now when these chemicals that is the fertilizers and pesticides are used in excess they lead to soil pollution and when it rains these chemicals get washed into wells rivers and lakes and this poisons the water that we drink poisonous waste from factories are also buried in land which leads to pollution of our land we even throw solid waste like plastic and glass bottles we throw old machine parts we throw rubber tubes cans etc into garbage dumps and these are actually non biodegradable and they cannot be destroyed easily they just remain there for years and years and then when we try to burn them they give out poisonous gases into our atmosphere which in turn leads to air pollution so one way or another human activity is actually ruining our environment then we have the next one which is noise pollution which is quite annoying sometimes when you see noise pollution loud noises from vehicles loud speaking and machinery can actually harm people and this can cause blood pressure and deafness in people even in animals it can cause the same effect and children did you know that living near airports can actually be very harmful to your ears even loud music causes noise pollution so if you see this picture here it pretty much sums up everything that causes noise pollution you have industries which produce noises you have moving honking vehicles which create so much of noise pollution you have aeroplanes that fly with such a loud noise music from the disco which is too loud for you to enjoy and a neighbor's dog barking and this guy is literally saying oh god there's just too much noise So this wraps up the part about pollution. Let's move on to the next part of the chapter which is natural resources. So what are natural resources? Our survival on earth depends on the things that our environment provides us. For example, it gives us air, water, soil, food, fuel 
and other materials with which we can build our houses and make our clothes so all of these things are called as natural resources so you can see in this picture right here we have all the natural resources that that our environment is providing us and we are using more of these resources today than we did a few years ago for example we use petrol we use diesel and other fossil fuels that we are getting from our environment and scientists believe that these resources are limited and soon they are all going to run out they are going to be completely over we won't have any more petrol diesel or any of these fossil fuels left for us to use and due to pollution of air water and soil the quality of these natural resources also is affected the quality is deteriorating and coming down the quality is not so good as it was many many years ago so what can we do to save our environment this is the major and the most important question that we have to be asking today the first thing that we can do is try to use alternate sources of energy such as solar energy and wind energy so in your houses fix solar panels so that you have solar water heaters second we should take efforts to control air water and soil pollution so we should do what little we can as citizens to help save the environment third one cutting down of trees is being reduced and more trees are being planted to conserve soil as well as wildlife then air pollution can actually be reduced if people use more of public transport like you have buses you have autos these are all public transport instead of using our own private car or a two wheeler and to travel short distances we should prefer going by walk or if it's a little further away we could use our bicycles so with this we are also maintaining our fitness and we are helping to save our nature the fifth one is that we must educate the farmers about safer ways of farming we should tell them that use of too much of fertilizers and pesticides cause harm to our environment so we must teach them how to use them just enough as much as required and the last one we must try to reuse and recycle whatever materials are there such as bottles jars cans and newspaper we must try as much as possible to reuse these materials rather than just throwing them away so with this we wrap this chapter up let's do a quick recap of what we studied under part 2 so under part 2 we looked at water pollution and we saw what all disasters can happen because of water pollution we spoke about soil and land pollution we saw how factories and homes and hospitals dump their wastes into land polluting it then we spoke about noise pollution and how much of a nuisance noise pollution can be then we spoke about all the resources that our environment is actually giving us which we call as natural resources lastly we asked the most important question how to save our environment what can we do to help the environment so with this we complete this chapter children i'd like to leave you with one small message mother nature too needs care and protection show her your care by caring for her trees love trees love nature because our ultimate mother is our environment our mother earth and it's our duty to protect her thank you